Hey guys, it's Angie and today I have a hot tutorial for you. I'm going to be demonstrating how to do first degree burns using makeup. This type of burn is the least serious as it only affects the outer layer of skin. Typically these burns appear red and swollen and can be quite painful. Sunburns are one of the most common types of first degree burns so I chose to replicate them in this tutorial. And I also decided to include peeling skin as a lot of sunburns do cause the skin to peel. To achieve the red swollen skin, I'm going to be using the lightest red in Ben Nye's Master Bruise Wheel, and I'm just applying that with a sponge to create an even coverage. Now to further the illusion of sunburn, I did not apply the red color to a line of skin on my wrist. This is meant to mimic like a tan line, where maybe jewelry or clothing might be blocking the sun's rays. I made sure to apply red to the tops of my arms and hands as well. Anywhere the sun is hitting, you want to make it red. Anywhere the sun can't reach, you keep it blank. So if you're sitting in a chair, out on the beach or something, the bottom of your arms might be on the hand rest so you wouldn't get sunburnt there. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you're trying to decide which pieces of skin are going to be the victims. Now if you get a little too zealous with the red, as I have done here, um, you just take a tissue and blot it off. It's very easy. For the peeling skin, I used an old school method, something I used to do in school actually, and um, I used Elmer's glue. Uh, when I was trying to think of a skin-like material for this tutorial, I remembered how I used to paint my skin with glue and just like peel it off. Um, you could use liquid latex if you have that as well, but the great thing about this glue is when you peel it off you have that really cool skin texture. So all you have to do is just paint a few layers of glue on your skin, let it dry, and peel it off, and you have instant skin. It's really awesome. Now to apply it over the burn, I used the glue again, just dabbed a little bit, like a thin layer on the skin, and then placed the sheets of skin, that sounds really gross, um, the sheets of skin on top, and the edges kind of blend into the glue so it just looks seamless, it's really, really cool looking. Once it dries, it should look pretty transparent and realistic. Uh, feel free to pick at the glue too as well. Sunburns kind of look patchy after a few days and when you pick at the glue, it creates those patches of skin that peel off. It's really cool. All right guys, that wraps up this hot tutorial for first degree burns. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm also gonna be doing second degree and third degree burns as well, so keep an eye out for that. And thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Join me on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, bye guys.